Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my November favourites for you. I have a huge range of makeup, skincare, tech things, fashion. It's a very varied favourites video for you. So this month I've been really obsessed again with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Gel. If you've watched me for a long time you'll know I love this product. I was trying to use up some other moisturisers in my cupboard before I repurchased this and then once I finally did, I repurchased this and oh, I forget how much I love it. I was just like, I have to get the full size again. I love, love, love this product. It really hydrates my skin, doesn't leave it greasy, doesn't break me out. It's just perfect. The next product is a sunscreen. I've been loving my Cetaphil Suntivity SPF 30 UVA and UVB High Protection Sunscreen. And this is sun, sun protection for very sensitive or oily skin. And it's an ultra light fluid kind of formula. So it's like really liquidy, almost like like it's actually like real liquid not a cream um, and it just glides on beautifully over top of your moisturizer it sits lovely under makeup I used this last summer and then it expired so I threw it out and I was using um, the La Roche-Posay um, sunscreen and while I liked that I just found that this one is just better for my skin it doesn't break me out at all the other one you know it's a bit rich for it um, better suited for drier skins but if you've got oily skin or sensitive skin I've got oily-ish skin, it's kind of prone to breakouts, then definitely try the Suntivity sunscreen by Cetaphil, it's excellent. While I was on my travels to New Zealand, I picked up the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream lip protectant at Duty Free. This was only like $10 at the Duty Free, so I picked one up, mainly because my husband has stolen my 8 hour protectant cream that I got at Duty Free last time. I love that product for my lips but my husband's now stolen it for his and um, he also tends to get a little bit of kind of, I don't know, like really dry skin in his beard so it kind of like puts it in there and it helps to moisturize it. But this is a really amazing lip balm. It doesn't smell like nice, it just smells like the 8 hour cream formula which I personally like. The next product I've been loving is a highlighter from my NARS Guy Boudin palette. Now I bought this two years ago and I use it primarily for travel. Um, I've hit pan a bit on my Laguna because obviously I don't take a different bronzer with me when I travel and I take this kit so I've got a bunch of blushes, I've got a highlighter and I've got bronzer and a big mirror. Uh, but I've been loving, loving the highlight from this palette. It's the most beautiful kind of pearly, oh, suits really, really pale skin kind of highlighter. It's so, so beautiful and I really want to find a dupe for it, like an exact kind of dupe. So if you know of this palette and know of this colour and you can think of an exact dupe for the texture and kind of pigmentation, pretty much I just want this shade, but this was like a limited edition shade in it. I don't even know what it's called. It doesn't, it's sort of, it's not like part of the permanent line, which is really annoying. But I love that shade. It's just the perfect shade for pale skin. This favourites video does feature a lot of travel goods because I obviously went travelling and therefore fell in love with a lot of things that I took travelling for beauty. So one of those being this little brush. This was the brush I took to apply my bronzer with. Um, I picked it because the pan, the Laguna pan inside this isn't very big so you don't want to take a big bronzer brush because you kind of then get blush in it as well when you're trying to use it. So I took this one and I now love this for my like everyday bronzer. I think it's just the perfect size. You can really control how much you're putting on. Um, it doesn't just go everywhere all over my face. You could even use it to like slightly contour if you wanted to, not take as many brushes. But I use it primarily for my bronzer. This is by Phyllis Cosmetics and it's the most beautiful soft lovely synthetic brush. It's 100% vegan, it's 100% cruelty free and it's just a really nice bronzer brush. It's just a perfect size. Sometimes I think they get a little too big so it's nice to go back to smaller tools. The next product is an eyeliner I've rediscovered. This is the model's prefer infinite color eye pencil and this is in the shade nude appeal which is, if it will show for you, I'm probably just too pale. Oh there we go, let's shadow it. I'm just so pale, I glow in the light. Um, as you can see, it's like a really pearlescent kind of metallic pencil and I use this on my waterline and I love that it's got a bit of a sheen to it because A, it like, it's kind of nude so it makes your, you know, under eyes like nice and bright but it also kind of like catches the light and makes your eyes glisten a little more so I think it's a really good sort of pencil to use if you need to look like you've had a lot more sleep than you actually have. The next favourite is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. It is the Steel Estate All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. I actually love all of the colours from the little kit that I bought um, as part of the holiday collection, but this colour is just life and 
oh, I'm just obsessed. It's like the perfect kind of mauvey, rosy color. Um, it's not too dark, so I can wear it in the daytime, but it's also perfect to wear it with like a big, you know, dramatic eye for going out. I'm actually wearing this makeup tonight to a 21st. I'm gonna put on some false lashes and then we'll be good to go. But I've got a really busy day, so that's why I've had to do my makeup super early in the day. But yeah, I just love this color. I think it's so, so nice. And the formula of these is perfect. They're kind of like a mix between um, the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips and the Australis Villa Lips. The Australis are very, very sort of creamy and cakey, whereas the ColourPop is super liquidy, which I probably prefer more liquidy, but this is somewhere in between, so it's kind of moussey is a good way to describe it, and so it kind of like, you get a little more control than the ColourPop, but it's still doesn't cake like the Australis ones do. The next product I've been loving are the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mega Shine Glosses. I did a full swatch video for these on my pale skin, so you can see that if you'd like. I'll pop a link in the description bar below. Um, these are three of my favorite colors from the line. I've got 103 Protest Queen, which is a really beautiful, like milky kind of nude color with a pink base. And I also love Who's the Boss? This beautiful kind of deep plummy color and that literally looks like this on your lips. The pigmentation is amazing on these glosses. And the other one that I thought I'd feature is Alert Rouge, which is a bright, bright red. And again, this looks really, really red on your lips. It's very, very beautiful. The next item is a little fashion item and I just wanted to give a shout out to my little clutch bag. Um, this is from Mi Piace and it's the Constantine um, clutch or evening bag. And it's basically like kind of a furry, like a pony fur leather on one side and then it's normal leather on the other. It's got two compartments with zips and you can also stuff things in the middle of the sandwich, the handbag sandwich. <laughs> um, and this can actually zip apart too. So if you want to, if you only want one half to take out, then you can. And there's actually extra little hooks inside to hook the straps onto, which are interchangeable. And I sometimes put a gold chain strap on this as well if I want to make it look even more evening-y. When I travel, I travel for music. So I've always got a bag that gets checked in, which has all my clothes and everything in it. And then my one piece of carry-on is my violin. So I kind of, you're allowed one other personal item, um, which I usually take kind of like a more of a tote bag rather than a handbag. So I can stuff it full of like magazines and things that I want to take on the plane with me that I wouldn't fit in a normal handbag. And then I can also just chuck this straight into the tote bag and it's going to have like all my essentials in it. It doesn't obviously fit as much um, as my normal handbags, but when I'm on holiday, all I really need is my wallet, keys, phone, and like lip gloss and things. You know, like some very minimal items. I don't need the whole shebang that my handbags tend to carry. That's why I love this little one because it's just the perfect size. You can also just strap it right across your body. So if you're like out sightseeing, not that I sightsee when I travel because I'm there for work, but um, yeah, it's a really good sort of travel bag because you could just put it right across your body and you'd have your arms free to use your camera, carry your shopping, all of that. So it's also really nice because it can go from day to night, like this looks equally beautiful at night time with a really dressy outfit as it does with a really casual like jeans, slides and a t-shirt kind of combo. I literally have so many favorites today. I'm trying to like quickly fit in as much as I can so this video is in ages. Um, the next item I've been loving is my new iPhone case. So I have the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, I bought this oh, way back at the start of this year. Um, but my case on it, I actually I dropped my phone. Thankfully the case did its job and protected the screen. I like never drop my phone but um, this was like the one time that I full on dropped it. Um, yeah, the case protected the screen, but it itself kind of got a little bit damaged, so I got a new case for it, um, and I got this one off eBay. It was seriously like $10 or something. Um, I can try and link the seller below, but you know how it is about eBay. It's kind of always hard to find the same listing, um, but this one is kind of a like copper color sort of bumper, and then on the back it is actually like a clear plastic, so it does protect the back, but you can still see the beautifulness of the iPhone underneath, and I kind of love that it's more of a coppery rose gold rather than a traditional like I ordered it thinking it would match the gold on the actual phone but it's definitely more of a rose gold which I'm actually really stoked about because now it matches my headphones my friends headphones which are the Layla rose gold and white leather headphones which I just love that they match now. Going back to makeup because I forgot to mention this and I would have died if I hadn't mentioned it but my favorite um, palette for this month comes from the Le Grand Chateau little holiday kit from Too Faced which 
I just, I mean a lot of these items I've actually just hauled recently in a haul video, but um, yeah, this is a beautiful little holiday set that comes with three palettes and a mascara. Um, that's the outside packaging there, and then inside you've got three little palettes. The one though that I'm just like, that I want to include as a favorite favorite is the green palette. This one inside doesn't have green eyeshadows, don't worry. It's got lovely neutrals and browns and wearable everyday colors and a lovely peach blush that is super, super, super flattering on my pale skin. So I love this one. The other two palettes are gorgeous, but I just definitely have used this one the most this month. And the last item, as I said, is a tech item. I guess it goes along with my iPhone case being a techy kind of item. This is a very, very exciting purchase for me. I have been waiting to get a MacBook Pro with Retina for so long. I've wanted a new laptop for ages and I only finally got one just because of finances like they're expensive and my other computer was running okay like it was perfectly fine but I want to take my like editing to the next level and I also needed a new computer for research because this one like my old computer was starting to die and just imagine if like I had all my PhD research on there and it died and I couldn't get it so I wanted to get something that was a lot more reliable easier to use granted in saying that I'm still struggling to get a hold of the whole like MacBook uh, setup because I've traditionally used PCs um, but as I switched over to iPhone about three years ago and I've got an iPad and stuff I just find that I want everything to be Apple because that way you can sync everything it's just a lot easier um, so that's why my laptop was kind of the last thing I needed to transition over to the Apple brand and I'm so happy with it it's such a nice little size as well this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro with retina screen Definitely get the retina screen if you're going to get a MacBook Pro like don't even Waste your time on the other one because I know it's only a couple of hundred dollars cheaper To get the non retina, but it's not really worth it because the like screen on this is stunning and HD looks beautiful And I think it's just worth spending a little bit more to get that particular model So that's it for my November favorites today. I hope you enjoyed today's video Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you want to follow me on all my social media I have that all linked down below. It's all just at Anna Elaine. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I do make two videos a week. So I do encourage you to subscribe so you can get notified of when I put up new content. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you then. Bye.